It's more like 12. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the Panther Pod. We are at the Panther Chess Corps, and we're opening with breaking news. Our own Aiden Crop, who is a guest on our podcast right now, just received word that, well, why don't you tell Wait, them? Just why now? don't you tell them, Aiden? No, it, ha- it happened on the uh, the Monday during break. Bro, what? Not even news. You made me I'm think that it was happening news. now. Why are you going to turn the whole yet. thing over? Oh, my God. This is current news, my guy. All right, Aiden got into UCF. Yeah, great, I got into great. UCF. Terrific. Oh, I did too, actually. Yeah, a rhesus monkey could get into UCF. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Okay, let me tell the story. All right, wait. Aiden's going to tell a story because we were, we were talking about our club here, which is kind of like an amalgam of five different clubs. Um, we've been invited to join the Lip Dub. So oh, I yeah. asked, yeah, so I asked, you know, I'm asking you guys if you want to be in it. And Aiden uh, had the wherewithal to remind me of... The Lip Dub from what, three years ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay, so why don't you tell the story so, uh, of the Lip Dub from This two was years my ago. sophomore year. I was uh, young and foolish, and I had, just, <laughs> I had just come to this school, and so I, I wasn't familiar with all the teachers. I wasn't familiar with Guru yet. So we, I had volleyball practice that day, right? It was at like, oh, I want to say 3 o'clock or something. Yeah, you remember. I remember this. I want to I say 3.30 or something like that. And so... <laughs> <laughs> the lip up started, and it was just so bad. The planning was awful. So the routes, everything, everybody was off beat. It was crazy. Before. Basically, we went through all that, right? I was like pooping my pants because I thought I just knew I was gonna be late. And so it finishes, and I show up like forty-five minutes late to practice, <laughs> and Gru just turns me away at the door. So that's my only experience with lip up, and uh, I'm. I'm hesitant to do it again. So what happened? Oh, you mean you've been... I scarred you? Scarred me for life. But Mr. Groofius, what happened afterwards? What happened afterwards? I don't remember. Aiden's telling the story. Afterwards? No, he was... Like a whole week after the fact. Didn't you do another one? Were Were you still coach at the time? Yes, he was an assistant coach. No, that was, was the next year. year. Next I left year. the next year. Next year was, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I left, that was the COVID year. Yeah. Yeah, that was the following What do you year. mean what happened next week? So, oh, you got the mixed up. Yeah, yeah, you no, you got the years mixed up. The, no, the following year is when I, I stopped coaching. Yeah. Um, I might come back. I might not do it. it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? You got to come Wait, back. I'm not, then I'm not coming back. Okay, I might have to come back <laughs> you now. You got to come <laughs> back because Diaz is going to be the star. So I, the star the why are you, why are you, oh, this is, now this is breaking news. So because I'm, Aiden, Aiden here is part of the OG, that's what you guys yeah, say, right? Yeah, the only one left. You're like, you're like the original boys volleyball stud here at, at I'm Charter. actually the only one left, yeah. So, so this yeah, is, this is actually breaking news. So what's Should going on? Okay, so I'm playing basketball, right? And I'm I I haven't been able to go to the gym. I'm not eating as much. I'm losing weight on the double. And if I finish this and go straight into volleyball, I'm gonna have no time to eat as much as I want and go to the gym. So by the time I'm done with all this and I'm You'll getting ready to graduate, I'm gonna be like 120 <laughs> pounds. That's good. Out. So he wants no. to get huge, you gonna, you gonna be looking like He's like 6'4". If he's 120 pounds, we won't be able to see him. Exactly. <laughs> be He'll like be able to slide into a locker. Yeah. <laughs> I need to. I need to finish up basketball and just start. Start. He's gonna go on the, the ultra ball. ball. Aiden, yeah. Whatever your heart desires, you know. Well, we'll see what happens when we get there. But I mean. Listen, the volleyball team, you should still go back you because get, it is no, I likely might, I might. It is likely the they will have a winning record. They I have don't, I don't that's not that I don't care about that. It's well, fun. You should get the volleyball team permitted to use the weight room. So then you can get two birds with one stone. There is no point in the volleyball team using the weight room. No, that weight room but, is terrible. but but I would say why when when what's the name of the new, of the new coach? I don't know actually. Oh, is it new coach? No. Your basketball coach. Oh, not, oh, not oh. the volleyball coach. Thomas. Coach. coach Thomas. Coach Thomas. You know, when the other coaches, there have been a couple times, like during the week, when, like maybe before practice, they bring him into the weight room. Yeah, but the weight. But room you're is used not to going. Bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's just the weight room is not. It's not. It's not good. So we're not LA Fitness, is what you're we're saying. We're not LA Fitness. We're no school. No school is, but uh, you know, I mean, I understand what you're saying. 
you know, yeah. I've been I've been having trouble getting to the gym lately too. Yeah. Um, you know, about the, last, about, about, the, about the last about the last twenty five years, I haven't had much time. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, New Year's resolution those always work. But next Monday I'll yeah. start. I think I think you'll end I think you'll end up going back. Maybe we'll I see. Think so you got a summer to 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 bulk up against. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But uh, hey, if it's fun, that's you do it. You know, life's too short. So. You guys are just coming off Thanksgiving break, and I wanted to ask you about something that's going on around here. A lot of people are, uh, you know, we got the midterm schedule, and, you know, it's different this year. Uh, we're obviously trying something new, what the districts, what the district has been doing, which is doing the midterms when we come back from uh, Christmas, which we haven't done in a, in a long time. Uh, and I can sense Wait, I can it, sense the trepidation at the table here. Did it used to be like that? Since I've been here, it's been the way it's been the way it the way it used to be. Does that even make any sense? Yeah, I know. Since mean. I've been here, it's been we take the midterms after. I mean, before Christmas. Okay. Now, I'll tell you as a teacher, I like it because I could get more content in. You know how like when we have the when we have Christmas uh, when we have the midterms before Christmas that week there's really no instruction because yeah. people are only coming in to take their exam. Yeah. Okay. Here, as a teacher, I get to to put more content in, and then more. You you, you wouldn't like this, but more will be on the midterm. But it also means, I know you're shaking your head, but the reason that's good for all parties involved is that is that we are further along in the curriculum. I mean, do you see the value in that? Aiden Crop? Uh, maybe for other classes. Future UCF? Uh, uh, he's trying to get into the UF. Oh, he's trying to UF, okay. But for your class... Or maybe for your U.S. history class, but for my U.S. history class would be the same as any other kind of midterm. It's an exam. From my experience, with with all of my ACE classes, there's it never seems to be enough time, no matter what we do. So, so why not try something different? Because I don't, I feel like it's just gonna have no effect. Like it's gonna be another midterm. Well, with that attitude, of course it'll have no effect. <laughs> but I have a question about it. Am Go ahead. I, so for my A day, my only exam is Miss Pacala, period seven. So right. am I not allowed to come just for her midterm? Do I have to go the whole day? Well, I mean, they're not going to not let you into school to take your test. Um, that's a good question because we really haven't talked about because, like, usually that whole week is like you only come in to take your exams, right? Yeah. I get the feeling that it's not going to be that way this time, except I think on the last day, on the last day of tests. Yeah. Um, I think that's the way it is. And honestly, I, you know, as a teacher, I like it better. That's, I'm saying it, having not done it yet. Ask me again when we come back. Maybe I'll have a different. Yeah. You know, what do you think? Aiden, As job. Well, let's see. Let me try and remember exactly what I said 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Touche. Um, I mean, yeah, no, I don't, I don't like it. I, I think I, I just – well, you, you, just, know, you know, the two weeks, I guarantee you most people aren't going to spend those two weeks of winter break studying. And so everyone's going to come back, and they're going to be probably pretty unprepared for it. For so sure. I, honestly, what I think, I think you're going to see grades drop. For sure. Yeah. Like me – during that winter break, I'm gonna be on Vanguard, bro. Call yeah. of Duty, twenty four hours. But like we were saying before, yeah, there's I so many Call of Duty games coming out. Like, what is it? Who <laughs> <laughs> even cares? Yeah, and you got to throw in. You're gonna go see the new Spider Man at least oh, yeah. seven oh, times. Like, oh yeah, I know. But uh, like we were saying before, I think a lot of teachers are changing up the like, Yeah, I think some of my teachers. And I think that's a good thing. It's good. Th- it's a good thing for teachers to change up how they do things. You know, every year, maybe every two years. Yeah, like I think one you know? of one of my teachers is just giving us like a a chapter test and making it the midterm grade. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I, is, I don't know if that's allowed or not. Maybe I shouldn't drop a name. No, it's not. No, don't don't drop any names anyway. But but no, teachers can can give the kind of exams that they want. That's you know that they think are appropriate. So look, I I have a little more faith. I think this will be. I think this will end up being better. Um, but I say that, like I said, I say that having not experienced it. So we'll see. 
yeah, you know, you know. It'll, be, it'll, it'll definitely be interesting. So we just got back from Thanksgiving. How did you guys, uh, Reggie? I know we've been through this. But <laughs> all, right, but, uh, all right, so yeah, Thanksgiving was very wonderful. Good eats, family over. This you stayed, you stayed local. Reunion. Yeah, local, Cool Springs, cousins. We had cousins, mom, daddy, dog, brother. Everybody was there. <laughs> well, you know, Aiden. For some reason, I have a feeling you went to North Carolina. Is that true? I, Wait, I, how do you know that? It's how do just you know? Gut is, it, is it the Aiden thing? Yeah, you just, it's you're just feeling. on the same wavelength. Yes. Yeah. So Aiden Crawford. So is he right? Yeah, North Carolina. Oh my go North God. Carolina. Yeah. You're scaring me. Something Aiden. is telling me you have a home in North Carolina. Yeah, we got a cribbo in North Carolina. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Southwest. I want one. On a mountain. I, yeah, I want one. You want to see a picture? Is, is there a I would love to see a picture. Maybe we'll post it on... Jamie, on pull the, that up. Pull that up, Jamie. If the, if, the, if this podcast had a website, we could post up the picture. <laughs> but, we don't, but we don't. Aiden, you hung around town? Yeah, I did. This was a... We went on a hike and we saw a waterfall. This is a picture of a Wow. That is beautiful. That's very nice. That's very That's nice. That's where they had their Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, we ate it right yeah. there. So Aiden here... Is playing in this will be your third varsity basketball game of your second. career. Second, second, yeah. You didn't, you didn't have an away game this week. No, no. There's gonna be. You had a home game on well, Tuesday, right? It's home game Monday, I think. And then today there's a home game, and next week there's like three home games, and then it's like straight away games. All right. So how did so this is your first year? You know. It, you had you you have your older brother Ian played varsity hoops for uh, Big shoes for to us. Fill. How do you how do you feel? Well, the, the, relax. <laughs> no, you don't have to. You don't have to crap all over him. You know, he's, you, he's been he's been gifted with 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 the height. And, you know, so it was surprising to people like me that he hasn't he hasn't played basketball no, he, he before. Yeah, you know, I bird. never really. It, it's uh, it's frustrating. I never really got into like sports, like you know, contact sports like basketball and stuff until like. Later in the high school, like in like my high school life, like junior year, so like I came in very late to the game, so it's been like a learning process. But I mean, it's it's the the team is the team's got a lot of heart, you know. So we're like very undersized, but I think we'll be able to pull out a couple you guys, wins. You guys are playing some small ball, small ball. Yeah, small ball can win. Yeah. Have you been having fun? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you like the teammates? A hundred percent. Yeah. I saw in the CTV today the freshman on the team, Cam. Yeah. He looked like he crossed some kid. He's a good player. He's very Cam good. who? I, I don't know his last name. Yeah. Fe- yeah, but then they ruined it by showing your other teammate, Brian Rubino. <laughs> <laughs> so before that, we saw a really nice clip of Cam being, being quick with it. Yeah. So should we – so getting back to – so, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, you guys play tonight. Yeah. I'll, I'm be going, I'll be at the game. Um – you know, next you commentating, Mister Positivity over here is uh, telling me that it's it's going to go real well. Oh yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> first points tonight. What was that? I said to you, I'm going to be a human punching bag. I'm, I'm you, you, you'll repeat it. I'm not yeah. going to say it. <laughs> a human punching bag for who? The other team? Yeah, it's Somerset. Actually, they're a yeah, bunch no. of, well, they're not that big. Somerset, they're small. Yeah, they're. Yeah, of, is it, wait, Jersey? is it the Somerset Charter or the Somerset uh, the private school? The not good one, whichever one that is. All right, so listen, I'm pretty sure this will be maybe tonight will be your first win. I played it? I played uh, middle school basketball in eighth grade, so if you need me, throw me a jersey. I'll hop in the game. See, why yeah. didn't you continue on? Because then I would have coached you on because, JV. Huh? I was the JV coach at the time. I would have coached you on JV if you continued. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just didn't. I, I played, I'm starting I played, to take things personally. He, he played, doesn't have a passion for it. I, I played travel basketball for like eight, well, not eight years. I played for like four years, and I played rec for like eight years. Yeah. And I don't know. I just, something about it, I just didn't like. I was always forced into being center because our school doesn't have big guys, and I'm the tallest. Same role that Aiden Tajali's in now. It's like, well, it's not fun. Oh, yeah, he was not at the school at the time. No, it no. Wasn't. he wasn't here. You like, came in what, 10th grade? 10th you'll, grade, yeah. Okay. You'll go against these 6'6 six, six dudes, and your coach is like, just box him out. I'm like, this guy could beat you up. So <laughs> I don't know why you're telling me to box him out. Literally. It's interesting because I've only known you for a couple of years. I had no idea you were playing basketball here. Yeah. I think that's great. What do you do, Reg? Well, Reg not sports. He plays the Dominican I don't need sports, music. and sports don't need me, but. I do wish I got into a sport back in the day, like most likely football, but it's no biggie. 
like yeah it's no biggie you still became really involved here yeah um, do you think if you got involved in sports you would have been able you would have been able to do as much as you have with like SGA and being class secretary and all that stuff not at all because I would have probably, right. I, I probably um, focused more on one thing than the other I w- I really don't have that strength of balancing everything like Aiden to Jolly. And well, you're both very passionate about student government and all that stuff, and, and organizing all these things. So I would say, I would say it's a fair trade-off. So before you know, we're we're gonna we're we're, we're not gonna be here very long today because we got a game to get to. But before right. before we do that, I know it's been brief, but we're here at the Panther Chess Core. That's what we're calling it. How do you spell um, core? Like C O R P S, like oh. marine, like oh. marine corps. Oh. Okay. Yeah, um, just to be, you know, just to be different. But you guys got anything? Any plans? Uh, well, I mean, before you say anything, I just want to. I'm not in this club, but I would beat everyone here in a game of chess. I promise. I you. just don't think so because Julian Lynch here is the star of the chess club. And Julian, I would beat you in a in a game of chess. Listen, Julian, that's not saying. Aiden, that's not saying much because I'm the advisor of the chess club and I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> All right, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're bragging about. He breathes chess. He told me last night he was up till two a.m. playing chess. Are you serious? Okay. Oh, is that why you didn't turn in your work today? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. Maybe I wouldn't beat you. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Miss Marchetti won't be listening to this. Miss <laughs> Marchetti plays in the chess. knows that I have a passion for chess. Oh, okay. All right, I understand that. But with the that. chess club, you know, maybe we'll we'll try and organize a tournament against other schools. Yes, I actually have started putting some feelers out about us about us playing other other uh, other institutions, let's say. But so before before we go, anybody have any plans for uh, anything exciting going on for the Christmas holiday coming up? Well, um, I'll start off. Uh, I really haven't been submitting college applications and stuff like that. So what I'm going to be doing is over the winter break applying for FASA and then applying for Valencia and up in Orlando. Ooh, okay. So while you're at UCF and he's at Valencia, you guys going to hang? UF. UCF. I'll be at UCF if I why don't would you? Why would, would you apply to UCF? For a backup. It's not guaranteed I'm getting into UF. Why would you? But is that the best you could do for a backup? UCF? Yeah. Um, by choice. What's I, better? What's better? FSU or UCF? Uh, by choice. I'd rather. I don't like FSU at all. Really? I don't Why like not? It. I don't know. I just didn't like it. Is it off. Well, well, like the culture around there, or do like you guys don't like the culture? Well, you guys, you went on the you wait you you went on the college tour. We were in the same room. Yeah, we How was the tell? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about this. You don't want to know. You don't. I do want to know. know. Tell Yo. tell me. I, no, 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 no. No, the reason that I want to know is I want to know what you guys thought of the college. Tour. I thought I used to go. I haven't been it on so it in fun. a few so years. I'm gonna give you my first great, right? It's a lot I, of fun. My sister, my sister went to UF. She graduated, so I've, I'm like most familiar with that campus for like parents' weekends and stuff. Right. And I really like it, but. I was never confident in myself that I would be able to get in, so mm-hmm. I was always like, I'm just going to go to UCF. But then this year, I realized, like, my GPA is not bad, and I have a good SAT score, so if I'm going to be staying in state for financial reasons, why not try to go to the best school in the state, you know? Right. So that's why I'm trying to go there, and I don't like FSU. I just think it's, I don't know, I just think it's off, so UCF okay. would be the second best Did you know I, FSU has its own strain of a disease? Of chlamydia? Yes, I chlamydia. did hear that. So, uh, well, that's I did impressive. hear that. Aiden and Jolly, what are your plans? Like that, that, your one and why you? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I talked to you about this group, but actually I want to go to NYU. Wow. You did mention it to me. Yeah. And remember, I told you my dad uh, was the basketball captain. Oh yeah, you're right. At, you're right, you're uh, right. NYU. Okay, I, I think, that. I think NYU is a spectacular school for you. Primarily, um, honestly, and you would love New York City. That's what I'm, the you location. Would love, yeah. Exa- I mean, and it's location in New York City. Yeah. Like, Where is it? Do you know, it's downtown. It's not it's really like, from what I see, it's not really like a campus. It's like part right. of part of the it's city. part of the city. It's actually, it, it's kind of, it's kind of. Like that sort of UF is a little bit like that. A little bit. Not like New York City. Yeah. But like the the school kind of blends in to the town. Yeah. That's That's what what I noticed about it. That's what I didn't like about FSU. It's like there's nothing there besides the college. Well, UCF, as far as the schools down here, is my favorite, not for any other reason other than it's the nicest. It's me. It's like you walk in there and you think you're at like Six Flags. Yeah. Like I really enjoyed that feel. (laughs) It felt like it felt like uh, just 
So if I had to do it all over again, I, just, but, yeah, I don't I think I go to FAU. I think I go to UCF. But. I applied for UF for the summer B term. Got to wait till February 25th to get it back. Yo, how's how's Gainesville? I've never been in Gainesville. But Gainesville's like, nice. The area. The there's nothing there. What do you mean? What do you mean there's nothing? There's there? nothing in Gainesville except the school. Yeah. Wow. See, what are, what are you no, talking there's, about? No, there's there's a there's a city around the school. You go ten miles outside of FSU and you're in the you're with the Rednecks. Is what I'm trying to say. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's, let's keep it politically correct here. Why well, was that not politically correct? We gotta keep this politically correct. Oh, okay. But what, am I wrong? I, like, mean, no, I don't know. I've, I don't think FSU, I've ever been up there. Right, FSU right, has right. Ron DeSantis and the school. Or, that's it. Or Tallahassee, I mean. That's he's it. right. He's right. FSU, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. That's why it's such a same party thing school. with Gainesville. There's nothing to do. Same thing with Gainesville. Gainesville right. is the exact same. Yes, but different. yeah, but one would like I would argue that if I was going to college now, I would rather be at a school where I don't really have to leave the campus. Yeah, me too. Like exactly. that's how I feel. Like I, like I would. I would love to be our little own, our own little oasis. Yeah, you know that's that's kind of how and I, I yeah, but I just, picture the college experience. I just right didn't now. like FSU, and I prefer UCF, and UF's obviously a better school statistically. So I'll just well, you're just wrong. All right, no, I'm just no. It's it's what it's what it's, what, it's whatever you want. What do you what do you what do you what about you, Reg? What are you what are so you yeah, thinking about? Uh, two years, I want to do two years at a community college because like my mindset like right now is uh, two years finish that. Most likely to go into uh, law enforcement. Nice. Either that or then if I, my mind is still there and I could continue to advance, I'll probably do like forensic science or something like that. Yeah, I was looking like at UCF. the uh, – do you know the, the Instagram page that does like the – the college that you're going to and the major that you're in yeah like they post like for the seniors oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. a lot of kids majored in criminology last yeah. year it's like a really, really it was a really popular major the program is pretty good there though That's at, you mean at well, at the school yeah. well at UCF and in general like, right People, a lot of people picked. It was like architecture and criminology. Yeah, because uh, and is that what UF is good for? Yes, yeah, good for everything. Well, that's tr- that's a good point. But NYU NYU is good for everything. NYU everyone. is good for everything. The hardest but he wants to go for business. Maybe he'll be an oil baron like Mister Singer. Oh, an yeah. oil baron. <laughs> no, I could see. I could talk. see. I could see Aiden. I could see Aiden going to en- graduating NYU and then going to like Brooklyn Law School. I could see which you is being which is right across the bridge. That's what a lot. That's what my dad back did. Back down here, and you'll be a teacher at Corcoran Yes, exactly. Yeah, you exactly. Hey, come here, mate. Let me be your mate. Yeah, sure. Your butler. Yeah, you work. You you work for fifteen years sure, to right, uh, wind up back right where you started. That's, that's exactly what you want. Absolutely, that's my dream. Well, Aiden, good luck today in your basketball game Thank against you, Somerset sir. tonight, seven fifteen. Although, whenever anybody's listening to this, the game will be long over. Um, and we will all be long dead. Hey, <laughs> come on, go. <laughs> Isn't it supposed? To, aren't I supposed to be the cynic? Isn't it this supposed is to be gonna me? be like this is gonna be like the stuff you find in a time capsule from like a hundred years ago. <laughs> the class of 2022. And no, I put I, no, I I put it out there and I just wait to get in trouble and no, no one ever, <laughs> no one ever no one ever says anything. So, uh, but yeah, so um, it's been great uh, sitting with you guys here again. Um, hopefully, we can uh, try to find a way to do it a little more often. Yeah, I know our schedules don't really align, but we're gonna try. You know, we'll shoot for when we come back. So if we do not see our loyal or talk to our loyal listeners, all two or three of them, um, everybody, all of you have a great, great holiday, safe uh, and fun, and uh, enjoy yourselves and your families and everything. Um, and get ready for those midterms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peace out. Uh, yeah, uh, there's nothing to worry about. Come on. Nothing's no, there's, nothing's going to change. You'll be fine. Yeah, we'll see. You'll be fine. You guys, you guys, you guys always, I've had all of you now. I've had all of you in class. You guys know how to get it done. We'll see. Senioritis get it is done. kicking in. You'll, the what? The senioritis is kicking in. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody has the right to it. All right. Thank you for joining the Panther Pod. We'll see you next time. Take care. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let's go. Panthers go. We got the teamwork to make the dream work. Let's go. Let's go, Panthers. We're going to make it this time. We're going to take it home. Let's go. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers! This 
is a panther year for all your panthers here let's go